again, everyone. Welcome to another segment of Let's Draw Cartoons with Rick. Today, we're going to draw a rough and tumble alley cat. So let's grab our pencils and start drawing. So first, we're going to do is we're going to draw the alley cat's eyes. And we're going to make one eye slightly rounded, with a little dot. And then we're going to make like a, an angry eye that's a little smaller. We'll put like a bigger circle with a dot. So it looks like that eye's been, I don't know, in a couple of fights. And we'll put some lines around his eye, make it look intense. Next thing we'll do is his nose, and we'll put a triangle that's upside down. So we'll draw a line across, and then come up. Underneath the triangle, we'll draw that upside down curly Y, but at the ends, let's make him go down, because he's not a happy cat. Then we'll add a hound's tooth, which is just a kind of a curved line, make one bigger than the other. Then we'll add three little freckles on the insides with some three little whiskers that come out. Now on the top of his head, let's do a ziggy zaggy line. And then we'll draw his ears, which are just two arrows off to the side. It's two arrows on each side. And then we'll do the side of his face. It's kind of ziggy zaggy as well. Now we'll put two parallel lines that come in. At the bottom of the parallel lines, we'll draw a clover shape. So we'll draw three little clovers at the bottom. Those are his paws. We'll add a couple of little claws at the end because he's a fighter. Now let's bring his body around. Let's bring one around this way and then around this way. And then in between, we're going to leave a space, actually two spaces, and bring a line that comes down and around. So in that two spaces we're going to draw two lines that come down for his legs just like that. And then we'll draw the bottom of his feet so it's a curved line that comes across and then connects. We'll do another one here, a curved line that comes around back and connects. Now in these two rounded parts we're going to add two curved lines that give the illusion those are his little paw feet. Now we'll add his tail and because he's a fighting alley cat we're going to make his tail kind of rough. So we're going to draw two little curve lines and then at the top there we'll just do some wild hairs that kind of come off to the side and then we'll continue the tail and then we're going to draw some hairs that come down this way and then we'll round it off. So it looks like he's missing some fur on his tail so we'll add some stubble. So it looks like he lost some fur in a fight. Plus we'll give him some battle scars, so we're going to give him like a scar on the side. Looks like he's had some stitches. And then we'll do some hashtags, kind of like hashtags that make it look like he's been roughed up a bit. And then maybe some wild hairs. Some little hairs coming off to the side. It's, he's, he's a one tough cat. And if you want, you could maybe do a little racer on one ear, just a little line like that, and then we'll add just like a ziggy zaggy and it looks like a chunk of his ear was taken out in a fight. And because he's an alley cat we're going to add some a little detail here. So we'll do like a garbage can. So we'll do sort of like a, a curved line. It's like an oval with the top not really all the way on. And then we'll do the two sides of the garbage can coming off to the side and then we'll close off the bottom, round that off, come down and round it off again. And then in the top, we'll add some garbage. So let's put some curved lines, and maybe a tin can, which is an oval. You know, we'll put a little label on it and the lids just right there. We'll just add some more garbage and maybe a fish head. So we got like a fish head here with some bones. And then we'll add handle on the garbage can. And then along the top edge and along the bottom edge, we'll do these little half rounds those are like the ridges on the garbage can and we'll just make the sides come down with the lines. And if you want we could put some trash that kind of overflowed. Add some just stuff on the ground and maybe some flies in the garbage which is just a dot with two little ovals. And here we have a really rough and tumble alley cat. 
So, make sure you check your emails for the next segment of Let's Draw Cartoons, where you can go to the archives and check and watch out some new videos or old videos on how to draw all kinds of fun and silly cartoon characters. So thanks for coming by, and we'll see you next time. So long.